Hey everybody, welcome back on MDG Media. This is the final round Frontline MPO lead card of the 2024 Garden City Open, presented by our friends from Discmania. We are in Christchurch Hagley Golf, this golf park, golf club. It's a golf basically. Ethan Stout in the lead with an amazing second round, 12 down, 1040 rated. Really nice. Yesterday on the fairways here. Then you will have myself representing MDG itself, coming from Belgium. 995 going for the win. We are tight with Ethan. That's gonna be an interesting battle. Joseph Berry representing Wino 980 rated player coming all the way from Oakland North Island very nice 10 down overall four strokes to the lead it's gonna be chase for him and our friend Johnny Wake he had the hot round on the first he yeah, slowed the Pace down yesterday with a three down, not the best. He can do better. We'll see how they manage. So tie third, tie first, four strokes. Let's see how those four players handle the situation. On to hole one, par three, 114 meters. So the only danger you have is the OB hazard area before the basket. Apart from that, you are not in the need of thinking about anything so yeah 114 you need to push your drive you can go with fairway driver if you feel like you have the distance the distance driver is uh, more comfortable there is a hyzer line right side ethan first on the tee Lefty representing Discraft and Small Planet Disc Sports. And that looks like the same start he had on the second round. Amazing. Yeah. A bit of a roll, four meters, maybe five. Myself on the tee. Halo destroyer in my hand. Going for the comfort. Thought it was not wide enough, but uh, yeah, ending pretty decent. Yeah, short tester, five meters. Shouldn't be a problem. With me, it can. Joe Berry opting for more direct line to the pin straight it looks like he threw a fairway driver he has a crazy distance you will see he's a crusher he won the I think he won the distance competition during nationals a few weeks ago A bit early, a small roll just outside C1. Good shot. Yeah, okay line, a bit too left. Yeah, and he needed to push this one a bit more. Yes, sir. Dead center. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Always better than being parked on the first hole. You just start your round with a small putt. It gives you the confidence that the, the line and everything is all right. 
uh, at least that's how my brain is uh, working and let's move on to hole 2 84 meters so yeah low line you need to keep your discs away from those branches again apart from that nothing major straight line low ceiling and you'll see that there is a crazy left line that Johnny is opting for so two birdies two bars five strokes now yes sir amazing shot that should be a second birdie putting a bit of pressure on my shoulder yeah not the worst shot I definitely felt that I didn't put everything in that shot definitely better perfect height groundwork four or five meters exactly what you're looking for and here is the juicy line using the skip and the short grass and you can see that it works good shot from Johnny ha I was sure this one was going in good line I was confident after this one I hate losing my line late release or anything on the green so if I have the line with a bit short all good and a good bird for Joe same for Ethan a bit left A bit shy on the release. Yeah. And I'm the reason the star frame is not there. Bravo. Hole three. Another par three. 125 meters. OB on the left. Control the fade for the righties. Avoid that tree. That the frame just lost on the right side that's the two major dangers I'd say advantage to the lefties you can just go wide left and let the fade do the job at the end yeah fair with driver if you have the distance distance if you feel like you need a bit more comfort in your motion yeah, yesterday he caught some branches left side, not today. And he's around, C2. First tester outside the circle for Ethan. Good shot. Yeah, that's a pretty good line also. Good flex shot. Not just good, almost perfect. He's so smooth on the T-pad. Crazy, crazy distance, you will see. Yeah, and it holds the line super nice from Johnny, even better. Bulls I hit for a second birdie. Out of the out of the first three holes. I'm going with an eagle Barsby signature. Overcooked too low not giving the disc the chance to fly outside C2 I'll have a ceiling there to fight with pretty hard to drain anything into the heart and that's an ugly putt nicely done Maxime And now two strokes, perfect start, Turkey for Ethan. 
Yeah, come back here for myself. Perfect. A bit right, but I like it. It's a bit hard at that point. I'm not too stressed, but it's two strokes. After three holes, it's a bit too much. I need to keep the pace onto hole four. First by four of the round, 159 meters. You go straight to that tree in the center of the frame. You can attack as a lefty, but there is that bunker OB hazard and that green on the left side now. So you can go aggressive. I'd say the best way, wise way would be straight shot and then straight shot. You avoid distance on the second because the path and beyond are OB. Some garden trees also to avoid. Not too much wind today. It was a pretty comfortable round. If you consider that aspect, the weather, perfect shot for Ethan. I don't know if he was, yeah, unhappy about something or just super confident about it. And you can see Joe is really aggressive. He definitely has the distance to make it happen and that's the advantage. So enough distance to go over that OB area and yeah, to have a short approach to the basket, that's a nice way to go for a third birdie in a row. Zoom out, catch cam. Thank you. And I'm going archer, straight shot. I don't want anything with those OB zones. Correction from yesterday. Exactly what I want. Good shot. So now I'm also thinking about those two devils behind me, three strokes. I shouldn't yet think too much about that, but I am. That's a good shot. Should be an easy bird. Tap in. Same for Ethan, good shot, bit short, but all good, he's comfortable on the green. And it should be a first star frame if everything goes right. Yes, sir. Yeah, you witness the advantage to go for the aggressive line on the first on the first shot. Joe is completely comfortable on this one. Four birdies in a row for Ethan. Perfect start. Perfect way to put pressure on me. And a star frame on hole four. goal this year, we've tried to elevate things. It's hard to explain, but it's not hard to explain at the same time. It's addictive as fuck. <laughs> Everything just is really, really magical here in New Zealand. This tournament is anticipated to be one of the best ever seen in New Zealand. The competition was high. It was a challenge, eh? Just came down to the last few holes there with Luke. Bird product. <laughs> Bird product. Bird the four events were a success. Please welcome Paul Oven. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine a better welcome. We want to make sure that we deliver a high quality test for their game. We have a lot of big plans for this course. <laughs> Flying Kiwis, first ever documentary for MDG, out on YouTube right now.
hole five part 386 meters one of my favorite you have a mendo now on the right so yeah it's a turnover shot for the righties or forehand if you're comfortable it's not too long so you go putter mid-range something like that and for the lefties you just go yeah into the gap trust your line and let the fade do the job It's not a must make birdie, but you like to take it. That looks pretty fine. Yeah. Yeah, there was a skip. I think she, I think he's just outside C1. Seven eight meters for Joe. Good shot, good control. Yeah, outside C two. It was a bit strong also, a bit too straight. This one was so close, early release. Yeah, unfortunately, those branches didn't stop my disc, so I will have a super low seating. Almost impossible to go into the chains from where I am. Same for Ethan. If you're a bit too long, a bit too much right, it's really hard to work something out and a good birdie for Joe four in a row putting some pressure on myself two strokes now yep taking a stroke on the whole card So, a hole six bar 380 meters. I'd say it's a weird design hole, but I liked it. It's really hard. You have that hazard zone just all around that basket on that small hill. Everything can happen if you land around the basket. A lot of players are just going super high hyzer, too long and don't want anything to do with the birdie opportunity and then you have Joe completely different than everybody straight not working on this one he's into the hazard area after a super good start and I won't lie going into the chains and being aggressive from where he is it's nearly impossible if you miss your line you go into the hazard just behind the basket so I think he will pitch up Ethan is around so kind of a death putt but he's yeah five meters from the chains maybe four same for Johnny a bit longer you just need to go into the green and not think about anything else than the chains yeah I'm going low line right side going for the skip good result six seven meters stressful putt and i'm definitely not in position to lay up so i will attack it and that works i was completely feeling amazingly good after this one thanks lord with all the struggle I have in the putting. Good one for Johnny also. Four down through six. And Ethan. Yeah, that's... That's terrible, guys.
and that's heartbreaking. Was not able to understand how, in the moment, when that kind of stuff happens, your heart just stops, man. So yeah, it's a crazy swing we just noticed on hole six. I'm back in the lead. Uh, hole seven, par three, 75 meters, not the hardest. Low ceiling, you have two lines, left and right. For the righties, it's turnover left side or a low, yeah, low line, flat release, super over stable shot to, to get a skip and to go to the basket. Lefties are going left. It's easier. That's super long from Joni. Yeah, nothing. I mean, nobody's hurt. Because next T pad is just around there. So I missed this line three times this weekend, uh, two times, and this one was perfect. Super happy. A bit long, five, six meters. Good tester. After taking back the lead, I need to confirm the job, keep the pace, and that's an early release for Joe. Yeah, his pace was slowed down also because of that mistake on hole 6. He's 13 down, 4 strokes now between him and the leader. Yeah, good shot from Ethan. Yeah, huge skip. He's outside C1. Yeah, he made the exactly the exact same shot on hole 4 with a normal approach. He opted for jump put on this one. It deserved better. Good height. Yes, sir. Yeah, I felt relieved after this. Two strokes on Ethan now. And four on Johnny. Five on Joe. That's still tight, but yeah, now in my mind I just need to control, no stress, play your game, trust your lines, use the experience, on to hole 8, yeah, hardest part 3 on the course, super long one, 142 meters, Turnover shot with a flex at the end, you need the fade to go to the basket. Yeah, not every player has the distance. I think Joe, myself, Seb, Francis Orange. Yeah, the, we, we all have the distance to reach the basket. Unfortunately, lefties have the advantage on the first curve, I'd say. But it's really hard for them to reach the basket. They can't have a full flight. Allowing them to go to the pin. Let's go full flex. Hello, destroyer. Yeah, that was almost perfect. A bit too much angle. Distance was there. I needed the fade a bit earlier. Two, three seconds. A few degrees at the release. Good shot. It will be. It should be an easy par. Now Johnny, big arm, yeah I think a bit late, nah, yeah I think he cut some branches on the pine tree far, far there. And if there is someone able to go to the basket it's him, overcooked, a bit of a roll on the ground but all good, open look to the basket. You can see the disc 
rolled forever. Yep, yeah, and there Ethan needs to step up, forget about the mistake. It's really hard to manage, but that's the only way to fight for the win at this point. There is 11 holes left. There is room for him. He can do it, he showed it yesterday. But yeah, he's a bit off at that point. Not the best approach, six, seven, maybe eight meters. Yeah, on an open look, on an open look shot. He needs to do better, he needs to get back. Yeah, and I don't take any risk. No need at that point. Just control. Hole 8 and 9 are okay to par. He needs this one. Yeah, good answer. Perfect, good height, dead center. That's the way. And Joe, to wrap this hole up, good one, on to the last hole of the front line, definitely not the easiest, par 3, 91 meters, so it's short, but that, those branches, that tree on the left side right now is really hard to handle, low ceiling, control the height, and then you have that big one now. She's really hard to manage. I think advantage to the lefties. They can just fade to the basket at the end while the, the righties are in the need to go straight and avoid any fade because there is a river. OB just before the basket, you will see the red flags on the cash cam. Or oh, you won't see it. Well, you can see the red flags there. So yeah, I cut those branches super early. I will have an interesting upshot. And you can see why the lefties are pretty, pretty fine, comfortable. They can just go straight. They don't really need to think about the river and the fade. This will be all fine, too much left. Open look to the basket, 30 meters. That's not that bad. That's definitely a bonus birdie for the righties. Yeah, and too high for Ethan, catching the same branches as I just did. Good groundwork. I was short. Fortunately, the grass is dry and allows the disc allows the disc to slide. Excuse me. And good try from Joe. Short tester, five meters. Good to keep the heat. And we like it. And that's where and when I realized that Johnny is going to be a threat. Three strokes. He's in a well-shaped round. Five down through nine. He's showing confidence. I definitely keep this in mind. While Ethan was, yeah, only two strokes. But the mental side. Yeah, was not the same. The double bogey definitely made him struggle. So yeah, two strokes. 
Johnny is there, Joe is fighting for your third spot, Avery is also nice 4 down through 9. So let's see, the last 9 holes are going to be interesting, thank you for watching guys. As usual thank you for supporting the, the project and I'll see you on the back 9, thank you.